Hi guys, it's Taylor. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're doing my current favorites, so let's get into it. Okay, so I'm going to start with beauty stuff. My first thing I use to do my hair is this Bedhead Beach Waver. I am literally obsessed with this thing. It is so, so cool. I just love how my hair looks. I think it's fun. It's different. And it was actually, like, not too expensive. Um, it heats up really fast, and it's really easy. You just crimp it and then, like, go down your hair. It's awesome. Obsessed. My next beauty product is a couple different hair things. I'm really trying for 2020, 2023 this year to really take care of my hair. I really want my hair to be healthy, thick. Um, yeah, it's just like a thing in my family that like after you're older, you go through menopause, like my mom, my grandma, my great grandma, they all like went from really nice hair to really thin dead short hair and I really just never I don't want that to happen to me so I'm trying to take care of it now like heat protectant good shampoo stuff like that so we have Pureology's professional color care it's this purple bottle I got this at Ulta Beauty um it was I think kind of expensive to be honest um but what I do is after shower I let my hair dry a little bit when it's still damp I spray this in it and it just makes it really soft it feels like a leave-in conditioner and it smells good it feels good so we love that and then I also got this from Target it's I don't know how to say the brand but it's rosemary mint scalp and hair strengthening oil I've heard rosemary is actually really good for hair growth so I use this um, I think you're supposed to use it like every wash. Let me see. Daily use. Apply a small amount to scalp and then wash your hair. I don't wash my hair every single day. I try to only wash it once or twice a week. But every shower that I do wash my hair, I'm using this. I leave it in my hair for at least 15 minutes and then I shower. Um, and I also wash my hair twice now in the shower. I've heard that's really good. So I let the oil sink in and then I scrub my hair twice. And... For shampoo and conditioner, I do use Olaplex. I'm a little basic bitch, apparently. So this is the number four bond maintenance shampoo. I use this once a month, maybe once every two months. It's very stripping of like everything from your hair, so you don't want to use it too often. Um, but it's magical. It makes your hair feel so clean. I do use the number 4 P Blonde Enhancer Toning Shampoo as my everyday shampoo, and I've been loving this. And then I do use the number 5 Conditioner. It's really, really good. I love this conditioner. It feels really smooth and soft. Um, Olaplex is expensive, but really it's not too bad, and it's really good for your hair, so I suggest it. <laughs> okay, my next thing is a deodorant. I accidentally bought this gel deodorant. I thought I was getting like the white normal stick, but I got gel and I'm obsessed with it. It like doesn't leave nasty white stuff on your clothes. It lasts a really long time. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just have really, really liked it. I'm glad I tried this out and I just got the secret one. It's cheap, it's easy and yeah, try it out. My next thing is this moisturizer from Clinique. It's the Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. Low-key, this is so expensive. Like, the big tub of it is really, like, I think it's about 50 bucks. And I was like, hell no. So I just got this little one. Um, I've definitely, like, already used a good amount of it, which is kind of a bummer because it was expensive. But I've noticed that it's really been helping my dry skin. I have really, really bad dry skin in the winter and this has been really helping so I might have to go back and get the bigger size when this is out because I think it's my everyday moisturizer now okay the next two thing things are under the eye like face jelly things what are these called actually floating under the eye depuffing under eye gel pads I'm obsessed with these these are the ones Florence by Mills if you can see, it's like focusing on my head. It's also kind of hard to see because the pack packaging is such a light color. But these are incredible. I like. I wanted to be a bougie TikToker, so I started bu buying like gel pads. 
Um, and so yeah, I've tried a bunch of them. These are definitely like the best for the price and you get a lot of them in here. If you're looking for something super cheap, I did get these ones from Target and they're not amazing, but they're really cheap. So I do suggest these if you're looking for a cheaper option. Um, but yeah, I don't really know if they do anything. They do just make my skin feel so good. So I've been loving those. My next two things are makeup products. Of course, this will be in my forever current favorites because this is the best mascara ever. It's the CoverGirl Lash Blash Fusion Water Resistant in super black, I think. Very black. It's the Purple Tube CoverGirl Mascara. It is so good, like literally so good. I think I've bought this a hundred times and I'm going to keep buying it. And then when I went to Ulta, I wanted to try out the Florence by Mills eyebrow brush and I'm obsessed. I used to get the L'Oreal Paris eyebrow brush and it was a really cheap good option but this is only a couple more dollars and it's way better. I'm obsessed with like the, I hope you can see this, oh it's focusing on my face. It's like a triangle, gosh you cannot see that, I'm so bad. It's a triangle anyways and then it has a really big thick brush at the end. This is what it looks like. It's a really, really good product. I'm really happy with this purchase and I will definitely be getting it again. I got medium brown if you're curious. Those are all of my beauty products. Now let's get into some clothing items. First off, I got these for Christmas and they are the UGG platform slippers. I am so obsessed. I have never taken them off. <laughs> like seriously, I wear them every morning, every night when I'm home. So cute, so comfy. I kind of wish I got another pair, like one for inside slippers and one for outside because they're also just so cute. I would totally just wear these out and about. They don't smell bad. <laughs> I don't know why I just smelled them, but yeah, they're just really cute and comfy. My next clothing item is Gymshark Athletic Wear. I am randomly obsessed with them I have a couple things from them and I just ordered more so I'm excited um but their leggings just like hug your body so well it squeezes you all in it's really high-waisted so you don't have to feel like unconscious or awkward there isn't like a seam right here if you know what I mean so it's just very flattering it has like the little butt scrunch area which makes your butt look bigger I also kind of like that they're thicker like they really are like if you sweat you're not gonna like see the sweat they're not see-through at all I'm obsessed and I think it's so cute having like a little matching set this one I have the long sleeve that matches those leggings it has like the thumb hole adorbs I just think it looks really good and it makes me want to go to the gym because it's so cute so yeah I've been loving that Another clothing item that has been helping me work out are Nike sports bras. And I don't mean all like the cute ones. I literally mean the most basic Nike sports bra. <laughs> like that's it. It's the most basic one you can buy. This thing is the most comfortable thing ever. Like I hate bras. I hate them. They hurt my rib cage. They feel like I can't breathe. Like not comfy, right? These things I could wear all day every day. They are so comfy. This is actually a Whitworth cheerleading one, but we don't talk about Whitworth cheer anymore. Um, yeah, but I still wear this because it's so comfy and they're only like 20, 25 bucks. It's so nice. My next thing is White Fox Boutique sweatsuits. I'm seriously obsessed. I have this one in three different colors. This one is like the pink maroon. It says Venice Beach and then it has the long sweatpants that match. And then I have the brown pair and like the light blue pair. They are just so warm and so comfy. And when I go out in public and I wear them, I don't feel ugly because they're a matching sweatsuit and they're cute, if that makes sense. But yeah, White Fox, they're definitely a little expensive for like just sweats in a sweatshirt. But they're cute. They're worth it. They're so warm, which was really nice in Spokane winters when it's 12 degrees out. So, yeah, I'm obsessed with those. Um, let me check my list because I can't remember anything else on it. Oh, of course, I forgot my socks. 
These are my old cheer socks. They're just like white thick socks with no branding on them and I love them because I do have like the short Nike ones but they're not like soft. I think because I've worn them so much and they've been washed and dried so much that they're not soft like at all. But these things, I can wash them and dry them and they're always soft. They're just like perfect length. They're so warm, so cozy. Um, I don't know where to buy them because I got them off of like a cheer varsity website. But yeah, I love them. <laughs> okay, so I think that was everything for my clothing items, my beauty items. Now let's get into stationery. So my first stationery item is my Google Home, which is over there. Hey Google. Good day to you. <laughs> I love her. I don't know why I call her a her, but she's a her. So I use her for music, my alarm, good vibes. I'm obsessed with her. She's just adorable too. Um, my next stationary item is my calendar slash my planner. I am obsessed with writing things down, highlighting things, calendar, planner of vibes. Let me, let me show you. It's truly my favorite thing in the whole world. I have so many things going on that it's really helpful to have like a big calendar that I can just like color coordinate everything. So that is my planner. You can see it's crazy, but it helps so much. I love having a big one. You can plan every single day. You can look at the month. I added a bunch of stickers onto mine so you can kind of see those. I just, I love it. And it was from Target for like 10 bucks, probably not even that much. There's also a bunch of them on Amazon, which are really good, too. So, yeah, I'm a fan. I love it. Um, my next stationery is my Hydro Flask because I added this in this video because here's my Hydro. I took the straw out, so to drink, you don't, like, sip up the straw. You just, like, like so. And I had to add this because I'm so sick of hearing about Stanley water bottles. And I think those are so ugly let me tell you this fits in a purse if it tips over it doesn't leak a stanley is huge does not fit in a purse usually and if it tips over it leaks also um i can like remove the straw easily or i can have a straw it's like lock secure perfect i can hold it like this i can you know of course, yes, these don't fit in, like, your car cup holder, but they always fit in the side door. So, like, what is the matter, you know? And everyone's like, oh, Stanley's are the best. I'm like, but why? Like, I truly do not get it. I think they are so ugly, so stupid. They're huge. You have to, like, carry them by the, like, handle. I don't know. I just don't like them. And I think if you have one, you're cringy because the only reason you bought it is because it's trendy right now. Like, I just... I don't get it. I don't get it. You don't need to buy a water bottle for 40 or 50 bucks just because it's trendy. Like, I bought this and I use it every single day and I have for years. And I don't care what other people have to say about it. Anyways, sorry for my rant. My next stationery and my last stationery item is my purse. I am so obsessed with this thing. It is so beautiful. Like, I just want to look in the viewfinder because it's gorgeous it fits so much stuff in here like like need i say more it's just gorgeous and it was only like 150 bucks on black friday just saying and when i go to an office job one day i'm gonna look like a bougie rich bitch okay my last what am i saying my last grouping of my current favorites is my kitchen items because i bought a Nespresso machine and it was the best purchase I have ever made in my entire life. I'm obsessed with it. I love it. It's amazing and yeah. It also came with the milk frother and again amazing incredible love it so much best purchase ever. I don't even have anything to say more like it's just so good. Whoa I just hiccuped that was weird. Anyways it's amazing. It saves me so much money on coffees and it like literally tastes way better than Starbucks. And also, my biggest thing is like Starbucks adds a lot of like sugar flavoring pumps and the Nespresso machine, I don't even have to add sugar. It tastes that good, just the coffee. Like, 
amazing. My last kitchen item is my tea kettle. It's actually not mine, it's my roommate's, but I think I use it more than she does. It's just so fast and so efficient, and I love making tea. So, it's all my current favorites. <laughs> Anyways, um, this was a lot of current favorites that I wanted to share with you guys. And, yeah. That's it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like, what else am I saying? That's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any video requests or video ideas, please comment them down below because I don't know what to film. Um, yeah, anyways, good seeing you. Good talking to you. Love you. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I've been TikToking three times a day, trying to get those follows, likes. Subscribe, please. Bye. I need to stop talking now.